Hi, I'm Jeff McLeod. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. I'm 23 years old, and I'm going to be doing the improv audition today. Um, so everybody sit back, relax, and enjoy it. So um, basically what I'm doing is I am setting this up as a webcam show, and everybody is watching me, and I am telling them about my day. Okay, thank you, and have, uh, enjoy. Thanks. So I've had an interesting day today. Um, everything started out normal. Went to work. Um, got off early. Thought it was pretty cool. My boss, he said, you know, go home a little bit. You've been working really hard. Really, I think they just don't want to pay me the overtime. But, you know, two and a half day weekends, fantastic for me, right? So I get off. I go to the store and I grab, you know, this fucking beautiful thing of flowers for my wife. And I come home. And I walk through the house, and all I can hear is some panting and what sounds like my wife screaming, Fuck me, fuck me, real loud from the bedroom. So I walk back there just to see what's going on. I mean, what else can you do, right? Turn around the corner, and it's doors barely open, enough for me to see. And there she is. That bitch is sitting there, and she's straddling my fucking neighbor. That's what she's doing. She's fucking my neighbor. She's fucking him so goddamn good. Better she's fucked me for the last goddamn ten years. How am I supposed to feel about this shit, huh? How? I walk in there, he's got his big fucking black cock all stuffed up in my fucking wife. Huh? She's bouncing on the shit up and down, up and down, up and down. And, oh, she's just screaming out, fuck me, fuck me, motherfucker, do it. And he's just laid back with his eyes rolled and his head into my fucking pillows. On my pillows. On my sheets, the shit that I bought, the shit that I worked hard for. And that bitch just stays at home fucking my neighbor. I didn't interrupt him. No, I didn't interrupt him. I could have kicked the fucking door and I boom! But I didn't. Instead. Instead. I didn't kick the door in hard. No. Not at all. I snuck in. Barrel first. Around the corner. They were so busy fucking that they had no idea that somebody was behind them with a 44 Magnum. I pressed the fucking barrel over against that bitch's head. She stopped. And she knew she was caught. There was nowhere for that bitch to fucking run to. But you know what? She fucking hurt me. She made me feel a lot of pain. And I wanted her to feel some pain, right? Yeah. So she hopped off this fucking guy's dick. And I pointed the gun to her. To walk over yonder, right? <laughs> and there he is. He's in the bed. And he's all like, "Holy shit, don't! What the fuck? You know?" And he's like, "Motherfucker, I went to barbecues at your house, son. and this is how you repay me? I fucking my wife when I'm not home." She's over in the corner. She's fucking screaming. No, Richie, no, Richie, don't do that shit. And I'm just like, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. And I'm 
sitting there and I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a watch everything that I do to this motherfucker laying in my bed. Right? So I grab her by the back of her fucking head and I fucking just drag her ass back over there and I fucking stick this gun right in fucking his mouth. I'm like, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, you like that shit, huh? I was fucking my wife and he's over there and he's crying. He's not having a lot of fun anymore, right? And neither she. Maybe she didn't have an orgasm, I don't know. Maybe that's why she's a little bit more upset than I thought she might be. But I bend her over the bed. Right? And I face her there and I fucking shove this right in his fucking chin. And I cock the son of a bitch back like that shit, right? And then... <laughs> and then I pulled the fucking trigger. And it went off. Boom! Fucking neighbor's brains are all over the back of my bed. And it's been a good fucking day for all of us, right? <laughs> Murder weapon. Murder weapon. So then I take my wife. And I'm like, alright, bitch. And I fucking lay her back on that bed. And I fucking take my knife and I fucking stick it right up her fucking cunt. Oh, man, she's screaming. And I'm loving it. Fucking blood is pouring all over my face. And I'm like, yeah, you fucking whore. You fucking whore. And I cut her fucking clit off. And I'm like... <sighs> I bet you don't know what raw clit tastes like on a Tuesday morning now, do you? So then I just had to finish that bitch off. And I slit her fucking throat. And I watched her sit there and she grabs for air and she couldn't speak and fucking blood is going everywhere. And I felt really bad. Kind of. But that's what she deserves, right? She did this to herself. Nobody else made her do this shit. Right? But she was my wife. She's the one when I stood up in front of the altar and I said that I would love her no matter what. I would do anything for her. I would die for her. And in sickness and in health. And this was a sickness. I guess the vows don't mean shit, right? They didn't to her. So they're not going to for me.